Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how to adjust the carburetor on this trimmer in a few easy steps. To adjust the carburetor screws, I'm using the spline tool, but if you're adjusting a different model, make sure to use the proper tool for your model. I'll also use a Phillips screwdriver to turn the idle screw, and that's all the tools I will need. So to get a good result, it's recommended to fill the fuel tank about halfway using 87 octane gas. Make sure to mix the gas very precisely with the oil because it's very important for the adjustment. The ratio of oil to gas on this trimmer is 40 to 1, but if you're not sure what the ratio is for your trimmer, it should be stamped on the fuel tank. The trimmer line should also be in place and cut to proper length during the adjustment. And the carburetor should be clean, because if it's clogged, the adjustment will probably not help much, so I'll place a link to the cleaning video up in the cards. So before I start, I'll quickly show you what the adjustment screws do. The screw closest to the engine is called the low side and it's labeled with a L. It adjusts the gas to fuel mixture while the trimmer is idling, so if the trimmer won't idle properly, this screw and the idle screw might need adjustment. The screw to the right of L is the high screw, labeled with a H. It adjusts the fuel mixture when the trimmer is revving up, so if the trimmer doesn't rev up properly, this screw may need adjustment. I will adjust the L screw while the engine is idling, and then I will adjust the H screw with the throttle pressed down. So if the trimmer is not starting at all, I'll show you how to reset the screws to a position that it hopefully starts. This is in case the screws are way off. So if it starts, this is not required, but if it doesn't, you can try this reset. So to reset, I'll turn the idle screw clockwise all the way in, and then I'll unscrew it counterclockwise three complete turns. Now I'm going to turn the low screw clockwise all the way in, just finger tight, not very tight. Now I'll unscrew it one turn and three quarters. Same for the high screw, I'm going to turn it clockwise all the way in, not very tight. And now I'll unscrew it two full turns. So that's how to do the carburetor reset. Now the trimmer should hopefully start, but if it doesn't, try increasing or decreasing the reset adjustments by half a turn at a time, and then try to start it again. A clogged fuel filter or carburetor are the most likely issues if it won't start, so I highly recommend the carburetor cleaning before doing this adjustment. So I'm going to start mine up. I'm going to press the choke lever down, turn the on switch to one, and pull the starter cord. Now I can slowly turn the choke back up and I'll wait 1 to 2 minutes for the trimmer to warm up. The trimmer should be fully warmed up before doing the adjustment. Alright, so my trimmer is warmed up now. I'll start by adjusting the low side screw. I'm listening to the engine speed and I will turn the screw clockwise and counterclockwise slowly to find the spot where the engine speed is the highest. The highest engine speed is the optimal adjustment point. So I'm turning clockwise now, and the engine is slowing down, so I'm going to turn back the other way. And the engine is slowing down again. I pressed the throttle because it was close to stalling. And this is the optimal point for the L screw with the fastest engine speed I could find. Now I'll do the same for the H side, but I will press the throttle all the way down during the adjustment. So that slows it down, and I'm going to turn the other way. So this is the optimal point where it runs the fastest. Now I'll rev it up a few times to see how quickly it revs up. And I'm going to double check the L screw, which is recommended to do after adjusting the H screw. And it looks like it was pretty good. I'm just going to unscrew it 1 8 of a turn, which will put it on the rich side so it can rev up a bit faster. So my trimmer is running pretty good now and revs up quickly. The next step is to adjust the idle speed screw. 
Unscrewing the idle speed screw slows down the engine and screwing it in speeds it up. So I want to set it to the place where the engine is still running but the head is not spinning anymore. Now I'm going to unscrew the idle speed screw until the head stops spinning. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps to keep my channel going and consider subscribing. I'll be posting more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.